Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thursday, April 14th. Lovely to see so many people here and hope your week and day are going very, very well so far. Um, it's 10 o'clock, so without further ado, as if you've attended these before, you know it is a powerful power hour and a lot of jam-packed information. So we're going to get right to it, respect y'all's schedules. We know the market is picking up and may have never slowed down. So um, without further ado, uh, my name is Will Burnham. I'm the Deputy Director of MLS Services for ABOR, and just wanted to officially welcome you all to the second Power Hour of 2022. Um, we have an amazing lineup of MLS mobile solutions for you today, and that's kind of the common thread that we're going to uh, weave here with both of these products you'll see. You're going to hear from two of these MLS product partners about their mobile solutions for your on-the-go MLS needs. And before we get to that, I do have an exciting update to update you all on. Um, initially, it was going to be our CEO, Emily Chenevere, um, to be on deck to introduce this exciting news. And unfortunately for us, because everybody loves them, she's amazing. Um, she got double booked. And so instead, I will be sharing uh, today's MLS update that you may have seen on kind of the, the preview uh, teaser and information for this. Um, quick story. As you may remember, in the fall last year, Actress Partners with, partnered with three other top tier MLSs to acquire Remind, uh, a core MLS product in our marketplace. Um, on Monday, actually, if you may have seen it, um, Remind announced that it has hired a new chief executive officer, Frederick Towns. Um, so I wanted to give you a little bit of background from, for Frederick, and you'll get to hear a little intro from him here in just a second. Um, so just to give you a little bit of background on Frederick, he has over 15 years of operational leadership from early stage to late stage real estate and technology companies, including being the co-founder and CTO of Nest Ready, the co-founder and COO of Playster, and a founding CTO of Mashable. And upon graduating, uh, he founded one of the world's first open source projects, W3 Edge, that increased the speeds for 40% of the, uh, the internet web by 10 times. So pretty impressive, honestly. Um, and most recently, he served as chief product officer of Ready Education, where he tripled the enterprise value of that ed tech company uh, within two years. Frederick's extensive background in prop tech and technology companies at all stages of growth, making him, ideal, make him an ideal leader to help Remind build the MLS of the future, uh, which we are super excited to be on that journey with. And not to mention, he's also conveniently in our very own backyard here in Austin and Central Texas since he recently relocated to here from Montreal. So give him a warm welcome. Uh, welcome to the warmth. Uh, it's a slight different in weather culture, we'll say. Uh, Montreal's a beautiful city too, though. Um, and while he couldn't be with us here today, he's got a busy, busy week going through this. He did want to, we wanted to give you a brief introduction to Frederick and uh, wanted to share with you this quick video that he recorded uh, with us. So without further ado, let's meet Frederick. And uh, John, if you don't mind, go ahead and press play on that video. The thing that I think about and, and that gets me excited is making sure that agents have exactly what they need from a technology perspective to create the value and the experience that they want to deliver. You have to make sure that everyone's needs are met and that they uh, are focused on a singular goal. And I think if we're able to do that, we're going to see a fundamental shift in one, what the agent experience is like from a consumer perspective, and also the value that can be delivered to brokers and ultimately to uh, members of associations and MLSs. At the end of the day, there's a lot of different ways that a transaction can be done, a real estate transaction can be made. The thing that is not going to change is that there always is going to be a subject matter expert. And if we can provide the best tools, if we can empower those experts with the things that they need, perhaps even before they need them, or to remove steps in a process that they find cumbersome or time consuming, we've, we've done our jobs. Well, the initial focus that I think we should take is largely going to be around the agent and what empowers the agent, helping them to take advantage and leverage technology to make their lives easier and to better serve their customers, uh, the consumer. I feel that you know a lot of terrific work has been done, uh, very exciting work on the Remind side. I think we have a lot of talent on the team, and I look forward to you know growing that team and uh, and pushing forward. The opportunity is uh, is huge in front of us. We just have to take advantage of it. Thank 
Perfect. Thank you, John, for that seamless transition there. Um, so very excited to hear from Frederick there. Uh, we are welcoming him with open arms and uh, excited to see him build with Remind here. And now you have a chance to uh, had to hear a little bit from Frederick. Um, quick plug, we do want to invite you to our Reach Labs Innovation Showcase um, on Wednesday, April 27th, so two weeks from yesterday. Um, Frederick will actually join our COO, Stan Martin, for a conversation on what the MLS of the future could look like. Big changes on the horizon and really what's being done to keep agents at the center of the transaction through all that exciting technology evolving and, and developing in the space. Um, so we really hope you can join us at the upcoming event um, and be part of this innovative opportunity to interact with these emerging technologies. And um, abor.com slash calendar is a great place to find that. You'll see that on April 27th. All that information is there, so please feel free to, to bookmark that and, and look at that if you can join for that very exciting uh, event there in a couple of weeks. So now that we've touched on Remind's role in technology of the future, it is time for me to introduce our, uh, our next guest, Remind's co-founder and CEO, Jonathan Spinetto. Uh, quick background here. Jonathan is the Chief Operating Officer and co-founder of Remind. Um, under Spinetto's real uh, excuse me, leadership, uh, Remind has quickly established itself as a market leader by developing a cutting edge integrated product suite with sleek usability and an elegant design that far suppresses a lot of competing products. Um, and Remind now serves more than a million real estate professionals in both the US and Canada. Um, prior to establishing Remind, Spinetto developed a technology platform that powers loan origination in addition to solutions for his real estate business. And as a licensed agent, he completed over 3,000 single family residential transactions across the country, utilizing his own custom built technology system. He received a BS in business administration entrepreneurship innovation and technology management for Virginia Tech's Pamplin College of Business, and has been listed on the Stefan Swanepoel's 200 Most Powerful People in Residential Real Estate. And overall, we are very fortunate to have Jonathan here with us today uh, to give you all a demo of the current Remind mobile app, um, and I'm very excited to see it. So with that, I'll let Jonathan take it away here. Awesome. Thank you, Will, so much for that introduction. Uh, Dorothy had sent over, uh, Dorothy is our marketing manager here to Remind, and she said, hey, I found this bio of you. Is this what we should send over to Austin? I said, man, that guy sounds great. So let's go ahead and send that on over. Uh, so appreciate the, the introduction. I'm going to go ahead and get my screen shared here so we can uh, start talking about Remind and the Remind mobile app. So you heard from Will a little bit about my background and you know, one of the key things here uh, in just in all my years, uh, which is about 20 years now in real estate and technology, is I've been a licensed agent since I was 18 years old. So I just, just clued you in on my age right there. Uh, practicing, you know, as a practitioner for so many of those years, I started out cold calling. Um, you know, in 2002, um, I got a list because my stepfather was in real estate and got my license and he said, all right, you're going to start calling these people, you know, 6.30, 7 o'clock till about 8.30 or so. And, you know, it wasn't back in the day where you had these really good scripts. It was more of a, what do I say? And he said, well, you ask them if they want to sell their house or if they're interested in buying a property. I figured it out. We, we worked all those details out. I got cussed out and a listing appointment in the first night and I never looked back. And, you know, all of the tools that you see at Remind, they started from that viewpoint, right? Sitting at the kitchen table, making a presentation, taking buyers out in, you know, in your car and trying to understand, okay, what are you, you know, what are we looking at? Like, how are we going to make that experience for our customers better? How can I be more productive as an agent? I've been also a broker owner as well for both franchise and independence. So I understand when you have, you know, compression on commission, when you have various business models, you need technology that works for you. You need technology that gets you results and technology that gets you answers. And that's what Remind's all about. So I wanted to go into the Remind mobile app, which is something that your market, you guys have access to. And there's probably some things in there you're going to see today that you didn't even know were there, right? And that's always, it's always neat, new and refreshing because we can add stuff in. We can bring in, uh, you know, new features all the time and really just focus on a solid quality experience for you guys. And by all means, your feedback your insight, hey, I need this, I don't need that, I need to do this better. We wanna hear all that, right? So get it to your ABOR team. They are amazing to work with from you know, the number of years that we've been working with Austin on our products uh, in our whole product spectrum. Get that feedback to your team, that feedback comes to us and that's how we shape the future of these products based off of what you are looking for. So always keep that feedback coming, we wanna hear it. 
So with that being said, when you first log into the Remind mobile app, right, very simple, very easy to use. And we have both, uh, you know, you know, we have uh, the Android and also we have you know, the, the Apple iOS. So however you need to, to get into there. And so when you're looking here at the mobile app, you log in, you notice it's Remind Live. Now, this is probably something that not a lot of you are familiar with, but as part of your member benefit here with uh, Remind Live, you can do uh, live stream broadcasting of your listings. Super simple and easy to set up. We're not gonna get into all of that here today, but just know that there's some additional training on this that literally your Remind app, you can live stream, there's no charge. You can create a link, post it on Facebook, post it on Instagram, post it wherever you wanna post it, Twitter. Uh, and you can live stream from your, your property and, and you can also record it as well too. So that tool is, is in your hand today. When you go log in here to the Remind app, you're going to see here um, your property notifications. So this, this is where you are going to get notifications around properties that you're currently uh, having your carts. And so when you have those notifications, like all these springs, the mortgage has been updated, right? And a lot of that's here. Or for example, deed information has been updated, or now it went from withdrawn to expired. This is a central point because these are properties that you've put into your cart, so they mean something to you. And we can talk a little bit about that here. But Remind is going to keep you proactive with these notifications about mortgage payoffs, new mortgages, D changes, um, people moving in, uh, you know, moving it into, you know, the various, um, you know, like a trust or something like that. So we'll keep you all of that notified. As well, you can also see like a hot sheet, market pulse as well. And also if you have any listings and then it's demo account, I don't have any listings. Been a while since I've had a listing, but you can see them here as well. One of the very powerful things is, is the agent search that you have access to, right? Now the Remind app, just to, just to know, in the app store, there's one app version because there's an app for your customers and there's an app for you, but it's the same app. And I'll show you what that looks like here today, but I'm gonna focus right now just on the agent side and then we'll get into that customer side. Because when you send a link from Remind, whether it's your desktop or your mobile, they're gonna get access to that powerful consumer application. And we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. So when you first, you know, kind of look around, you notice that my screen is filtering and I don't have any filters set up other than just, just looking in properties. So I could go over to a list view here and I could begin to see some of like the lot lands or other things. The computer is just going to automatically sort it unless I specify how I want that data to be sorted, right? So let's just say I want to go down and I want to look at an active property um, and I want to focus maybe something more specifically a little bit larger. And I also want to say, I want to see a garage and I want to see probably, let's do a four plus on that one, right? So now what I can do is I can hit apply and now it's going to begin to narrow down those results, right? Instantaneously. And then now I can, I can zoom in here, right? And so here's one that I'm looking at right now, right? On Vail Ridge Court in Oakton, Virginia. And I can go through and I can begin to see all of that property information on, on this particular house, right? So I can see the listing number, I can message the agent, I can get, uh, you know, routes, uh, you know, Google, you know, directions to the property. I can see descriptions here on this. So like remarks, um, I can see all of both the age remarks, which, uh, and also the, the regular remarks, very lengthy description on this one. And also I can see like the listing details and I can expand that as well to see everything that's in on the listing. And then I can also see the tax record, um, school information. I can see all the various ADMs on, on that particular uh, property as well. Demographic information. I can see all of that property history, right? So when was it sold? When did it have MLS activity? Mortgage information, right? Associated people. Now you don't get contact information if, um, if you have when uh, you know if properties actively listed, you don't see contact information because we just don't we don't want to uh, do that. But like you know, going through you know seeing the photos, um, you know, very simple, very easy to do here, and, and see that information in, in various degrees of how you want to access that. You also have the ability to go through and historically look at any listing. So if you want to go back and you want to look at a canceled, right? So you can just see how my screen is changing there. Uh, behind the scenes on these particular listings. But what we'll do is we'll stick with the active listing in this regard, right? Um, you can also see like the parcel outline, a number of uh, different pieces of information here. So what we'll do uh, in, this, in this example is there's a couple of actions. So one, 
I can share this property. So if this property is something that you know, you're know you driving around or on your app and you want your customer to take a look at it, it's very simple. You could either send it to them in a text message, an email, you can copy the link, uh, you can share the route as well, all by using this quick action bar. It's very simple, it's very easy to do. In addition, you can also do things like create a mobile CMA. You could also calculate mortgage payment, right? You can even start tour, which is just a simple, um, you know, log of that you showed, you know, Jonathan Spinetto, this particular, um, you know, uh, property on this date and time. It's not, it's not a showing service. Don't, don't get excited about any of that. Uh, but there's some other features as well here. You know, if you just know you have an address that you want to go for, right? You can just put that address in here and just go for it, right? Or you could also put in an MLS number. Right, if you know specifically on the MLS number side. Now, I don't personally remember MLS numbers in that way, but again, if that's what you are looking for, like maybe you got an email, somebody saw it on a portal site and they say, hey, what about this MLS number? Very quick, very easy to do and, uh, and access this here. Um, but if you like, if you notice I put an address and I went right to this property here on my screen, I could also switch to like a satellite view. So if I want to see, you know, like the highlight of this property as well in relation to where I'm looking, I can see that satellite and, uh, and, and be able to, you know, just understand like where are the lot lines, right? Does it intersect with a, uh, you know, a little creek or something, you know, in the back or where does the driveway actually connect? It's very helpful to see that as well. Now, another thing too is if notice how I have my sort and filter, it says four because I've added filters here on this particular one. Now, if my customer says, well, I really want to be off of, you know, Balmoral Greens Avenue, what I can do is I can draw right here, I can create, save, and I can name my search, and I'll just name it this property address, I can set up the frequency, and I can see as well that what I want to do, if I want to add a contact in there, um, this, is, this is your customer that you've loaded them into the system, you can do that as well too. So very easy to set up a save search in that regard. Now, if I go back over here to this particular property, um, one of the things, again, just, just to point out, like when it's an active property, you see the message agent. If you wanna take actions, right, look in the upper right-hand corner of the, the app, and you can see the three little buttons right there where you have additional options or this icon between the shopping cart and those three buttons, that's where you can share that property. So uh, very handy, very easy to use. Now let's talk about one of the, the advantages of Remind's mobile app, because not as this just MLS data, this is also public record data and consumer information as well too. So in a tight market, which every market is in a tight market today, very handy that you can be driving around with your customers. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna clear, clear these filters. And what I wanna be able to do is I wanna go through and I wanna understand you know, property values, or flood zones or ownership timeframes. Let's actually do ownership timeframes, right? And let's hit add layers. And so now I'm looking at information here based off of ownership timeframes, right? And so what I can do is as, as an agent, that public record data is all your tax data, right? So think about that public record data is what's produced by the county, right? So in Travis County or here in this market where I'm looking at this property, this is Fairfax County. So if they have a uh, square footage off, it's gonna, it's gonna be off, but it's coming from county here. So you can see all of that information in addition to the actual MLS data. So here I see that this property is owned by a trust, right? The, uh, the Daniel Ryan and Deborah Ryan Trust, you can see the TR on that. They've owned it for a while, four beds, four baths, 5,000 square feet. I can see what they're paying in taxes. I can see that it is a uh, trust uh, owned property. I see all the stats on this. I get to see all that information right here. And I also see that they're free and clear, right? So what you're able to do now is, you know, not only can you look at both some of those valuations, you can see other information as well. Um, and then basically now this is something that's important. So what we see right here is we see the trust as the owner, and then we also see uh, Daniel Ryan. So what we just did here is I, I just picked this property at random, but you can play with this as well. We just pierced the trust, which is something that is very unique in what's capable. So here I see, uh, you know, yeah, uh, a bunch of emails for, for Dan Ryan uh, that are probably going get you, to get you a response. 
And also too, there's a phone numbers as well, uh, two of which are on the DNC, right? And that's the federal do not call. That is not a state DNC, that is the federal DNC. So right there, I'm driving around, you're with your customers. They say, Jonathan, tell me about that property right there. I wanna know everything about it. And you pull out the Remind app and you know more than probably their neighbors do about certain things about that property. And this is again, another way that as you are trying to find properties that are both you know, available on the market and are off the market, you have all that information there. Even on the Remind app as well, you can also go to, and you can actually show, uh, you know, if you're in an area that's prone to flooding, maybe backs up to a water feature, right? You can also uh, click show flood boundaries and you'd be able to see that actual line and that theme of flood map of does it intersect with the physical property or does it actually just cross, uh, you know, on part of the property there as well too. So again, a couple of different features. Now, let's just say, for example, you're driving around and you want to save that property. So for future reference, um, add it to a cart. And so I've added it to my default cart, which is basically set up when you first kind of use the application. And so now I have my default cart here that have all those properties. So here in, um, in, 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 in Remind, you can now export this data, right, as a CSV. So if you want to do some phone calls, things of that nature, um, you know, and, and basically be able to, to get all that information exported out, if that's what you want to do, you can send postcards and mailers. And you would do that, uh, you know, do that from the desktop app as well. And, um, you know, and also in addition to that, you also have the ability to, to go through and, you know, choose to add a note on this property as well. So if you want to say that this property, you know, only visible to you, you know, good for, let's see, Smith family, right? And so now what you're able to do, right? is you're able to go through and, and see here, um, you know, now that, that note to you, you know, just as a reminder and that you can actually see that information as well. So in addition to that, you can also go through and adjust this, remove properties as well, um, do a chat with any of your customers. And also a couple other things, you can also look at all your safe searches that you've set up. And then you can also go through, and if you want to look at, say, for example, your engage, which is where you have individuals, um, you know, that that you've shared with because you want to create them that that portal. Uh, you can see here, for example, Jonathan just recently, you know, logged in. Um, time frame is you know next thirty days. John, the activities that Jonathan has done, right? Favorites of properties of if that Jonathan had favorited when they did it and properties that they're sharing as well too with their customers, right? So a couple of different uh, things that you can get and just access right away, right here from that mobile application. So in addition to that, um, you're also, again, you're in the same application, um, whether you wanna search by like an owner name or an MLS number, you're also here in the same application that allows you to see the, the consumer version of the Remind app, right? Because when you invite uh, you know, a customer into the app, they are going right over to a customer version that's tied to you, right? And the whole idea of, of what that customer version of the app is there to do is to allow your customers to give you some feedback on properties that, you know, that they that I'd be looking at. And one of the things that you can do here with the Remind app is you can go through and you can actually send both public record data, so tax data, and you can also send MLS data as well too. So you can you know, add notes into this before you send it, but your customers get a very uh, nice, clean view of this property. Um, you know, they only see you as their agent, right? And they can give you feedback by either swiping left or they can give you feedback by swiping right as well. So again, what we're looking at is we're looking at the consumer uh, app version of Remind that you can invite your customers into. So when you share properties or when you get them a safe search result, they have the ability there to access that. Uh, and then they also have the ability to search as well too. And so you're providing a nice, clean, easy to use, um, you know, search portal for them to access, right? Right inside that app. And then also your customers can save it, your customers can message you on it, and they can also search for properties, right? So again, very handy and easy to use application. And to switch back and forth, you can go back and forth between the agent 
and the, in, in the consumer app by going to your settings and you can go switch to agent account, right? And what you're able to do is again, is just I'll go through and understand kind of again where you're at on the agent side and also on the on the the consumer side as well, right? So again, if you are, for example, you're showing a home and that property is, you know, your clients didn't like it, right? And you want the information. And what you want to do is you want to understand information on the property next door. You can hit the either the nearby button here in the lower left hand corner, you can put in the address, or you can literally click on the property. And now right there by clicking and touching on that property, you have a wealth of information on that property from consumer data to MLS information, historic MLS, contact information, phone numbers, everything. It's that simple. Within three clicks, you can get right to that. So what I wanna do now is I wanna pause uh, on my presentation and definitely wanna take uh, questions uh, from the group. I think Abor has been you know, collecting some of those there uh, so that we can go through and hit some of those together. Perfect, thank you, Jonathan. Um... Yes, I'm going to address a couple of ones off the top on more of the account level setup. And then um, what I do think would be useful, Marilyn had a great suggestion of just um, really connecting the dots of you're in the field, you're at a listing. I think if we could see that area of a listing detail where they would click to see more to view showing instructions and those remarks, that would be really valuable because, again, this they're on the go, they're at a listing. How do I get into this home? Um, we'll cover that in just a sec while he sets it up, which took all of two seconds there. So. Uh, but we'll cover it in more detail. For that account setup, um, and as, as Caitlin mentioned in the chat, that, that email address is going to need to match what we have in our ABOR system. Just as somebody put what we send our billing notices to, it will be the email that appears on your um, MLS profile, for example. So that's the email that we tie it to. And then that MLS ID, that agent ID, is specifically your login ID, which in most cases is your license number without the zero in front. We probably all auto-populate you know, our logins when we get into the systems, the single sign on MLS, it's that ID that you put into that um, user ID field is what will match there. And um, any troubles with that, support at abor.com. We're happy to work with Remind very quickly and, and or look at our end if it's just a, a disconnect and get you going there. So just keep that in mind. And as Jonathan mentioned, we can show you exactly what that app looks like um, but going back to I think a question that would be really helpful is just like I said, on market listing, for example, you're in the field, say, hey, it's nearby, let's go view it, see if we have that as an option. How do we get those details within the app here? Yep. And so I just made a real, real, uh, you know, point in home. So I went to Austin. I have the ability to do that. You, you as an agent, you only have access to your local listings. I'm in a bit of a administrative mode, so I can quickly pursue over to that. But right here, if you go to the remarks, hit show more, it's right underneath agent remarks here. So there's your, your showing instructions. Um, and then, you know, listing agent number two, uh, which is, was up there earlier. And then basically, I mean, that's every, every property, as you guys know, will have a different, you know, showing instruction, but it's just scroll there uh, to, to that. And you can see that there. And then, so again, for example, back to, I think another, another good question is, okay, I just showed that property for $1.3 million, but my customers like this house across the street. What do I, as the agent, what can I tell them? So again, just bring up your map and there was a question. So the nearby button is in the lower left-hand corner, right? I don't know if you can see my mouse here on the screen, but in the lower left-hand corner, hit that nearby, and then that will geolocate you to wherever you're at on the street. If I hit it now, it's going to take us all the way back to Northern Virginia, but that will geolocate you to wherever you're at on the street. So again, you can, you know, by saying, oh, I want to look at that house there, you hit the button, and then you can bring, bring that property up as well, too. Um, I saw as well, as well, Will, there was another question about how do I access the, the customer version of the app? And so again, to recap on that, lower right-hand corner here at the bottom bar, again, uh, where it says the three dots and it says more. What you'll do is you'll hit that button, you hit settings, and then it says switch to consumer account, okay? So once you do that, it's gonna bring up the consumer version of Remind so you can see that there. Now to switch back, it's the same steps. Lower right-hand corner, three dots, settings, switch to agent account. Now, that way you can you can go back and forth and it and it reset me back to my my home territory there. So just as an FYI. 
Perfect. Great example, Jonathan. Um, and that that a lot of information covered here with this this app demo. Um, as I'm sure y'all, I thought we do send a recording out for this, so no worries. Um, and I know some people are trying to download it as it was going on, and um, absolutely understand some divided attention there. But this this is being recorded. Um, and quick plug: when you fill out the survey, that will plug at the end, and you'll see as an attendee here. Um, when you fill it out, you get it quicker, and eventually be released for everyone. But again, kind of a little bit of extra motivation to give us this feedback and. The feedback we're seeing here, and as Jonathan alluded to, um, let us know what you like, what you don't like, and get let us keep building this app for you all to be best in market. But it is really, I, I love seeing these examples of just this on market. How do I get this information? How do I see information nearby? Um, and one plug I'll say from a couple of support um, inquiries I've, I've handled recently is make sure when you get the app set up, and I just walk through it as a test, um, turn on location services. Um, the app does that ability to know where you are to really, and especially this example of how do I get showing information for this home that I know is on market right over here. Um, the app does need that ability. So turn it on. It can be on only during using the app if you're that iPhone kind of set up there. Um, so just a quick plug to make this app do the best that it, that it can for you. It does need to have a little geolocation for you. And we have about a couple minutes before turning it over to Andrea at RPR. Let me make sure and, and just can, one more, we, Will, I think there yeah. was one more question about the showing instructions. So again, I understand, I understand again how critical that is. So again, you just click on the property and you can search by, again, if you know the MLS number because your customers gave you an MLS number or you just know the address or you know uh, an area. Um, so again, you hit, the, you hit here on the map and in this one here on 4305 Avenue A, I see um, again, location investment opportunity, love and investment opportunity of $1.8 million. Uh, so you scroll down uh, in the remarks, you hit show all, and there's your showing instructions right there. So uh, basically, that'd be two taps uh, where you would get to that uh, in, in terms of speed of, of quickly getting access to that information. Love it. Love it. Um, real quick, we, we always say I saw a question about support, which is obviously want to get you in the experts' hands when you need it. We have our ABOR support team to help facilitate. Jonathan, do you have a recommendation for some direct remind support they can reach out to as they're looking in a little bit closer here? Yeah, you know, we have we have a ton of information online at support.remind.com. And also we have folks on chat that can assist you with that. Uh, and as always, the ABOR team is amazing to work with. And they really have uh, experts on, you know, what, you know, what about the, the products and the technology? Because uh, there's just, there is a lot that, that I did not have a chance to cover. But again, about covering some of the basics of what we've seen over the last few years of what people really hone in and can use our app for from looking at that you know that mls um and marilyn your question is is if it's vacant or occupied yes you would see all that if the agents entered that in so like on that example i'm entering they said you have to call they said the house is occupied and you have to call them to go see the property so it just the data displays based upon what's been put in so instead of showing every single field that may not have a piece of information we, we, we truncated in a sense to show you fields that are populated. So um, if there isn't a lockbox and it says you must call a listing agent, which this one did, and it has the phone number, that's what you would see. So you know that you have the most prime information and you don't have to go through a bunch of views to see that. Perfect. Thank you, Jonathan. Well, to stay on schedule, like I said, it's a quick, it's a quick hitting powerful power hour here. I do want to... Um, Wrap up this segment, get over to Andrea for the RPI. I know y'all have questions. I absolutely love to see the engagement in it. And I hope you understand we just, we have to stick to the schedule for y'all. But any of those questions we do want to address and have clarity, and we can either have a little bit of time at the end here, or of course, um, reach out to our team here. And we're happy to, to continue that conversation. But um, this was extremely helpful to see really just uh, just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what Remind Mobile can do. And, and like I said, that feedback is extremely valuable as we work with Remind. Um, as mentioned, you know, Abor is, is co-owners of, of this platform now with some other MLSs and the team has been excellent to work with and open to our feedback on where we really want this to, to boost y'all's business. So uh, the candid feedback is, is always appreciated and the questions as well. So we can get you a little Absolutely. bit closer there. Well, thank you everybody for your time today. I appreciate the opportunity to present to you and show you some of the, the powerful features of the Remind Mobile app. Uh, please keep those questions coming and feedback. And so thank you again for the chance to present. Thank you. Very much appreciated, Jonathan. Um, okay, well, 
Thank you again for joining, Jonathan. Um, and don't forget, uh, we do have some upcoming Remind courses on abor.com. I'll be more of the desktop version. We do touch on the app and, you know, I'll give you a little spoiler alert. The professional development team is building a lot of content for MLS products overall. And Remind is, is, a, is a, an absolute focus there. So I'm um, in more dynamic ways to learn too in this wonderful hybrid world of in-person and remote that we have. So um, just, just keep an eye out for that here later this year. Um, but the, the, uh, in terms of upcoming classes we do have on the books, we have our kind of our standard Remind 101 for Austin agents, uh, Monday, May 9th. So abor.com slash calendar. Go ahead and register for it now if you'd like. Uh, make sure before any seats or anything fill up, we want to make sure you get that chance to go in there. All righty. Well, pivoting to our next powerful product in this power hour, um, we do have, uh, I do want to introduce RPR's Industry Relations Director, Andrea Goodhart. Uh, gotten to work with Andrea many times over the years, and she's awesome. Um, in her role, she works with MLS and association leadership, staff, brokers, and agents to communicate the value of RPR within the industry. Uh, Realtors Property Resource is the, the, little, uh, is the full name of the RPR shorthand. Um, you joined RPR, Andrea joined RPR in 2011. That's over 25 years of experience in the real estate industry. Um, her career started with one of the first MLS product providers, Multilist McGraw-Hill, a pioneer with online MLS services, and management experience with the national MLS, with, with various national MLS vendors and property public records providers, um, includes implementation project management, regional and national client services operations, and industry relations management. So, as we saw this screen change here to the slides that uh, Andrea is going to go through. Um, similar, you know, if you don't have the RPR app downloaded, feel free to, to get it. And we'd always recommend locking into the presentation here and following up with that afterwards. Um, you'll see kind of a more uh, slide deck version here. And um, I will turn it over to you, Andrea. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much, Will. And uh, it's nice to be here. I'm coming to you from Houston and uh, I've got a special place in my heart for Austin. Actually, my uh, first job transferred me to Austin uh, and uh, love the city. So it's always great to be with uh, the Austin crew. And today it's, it's really nice to be able to uh, take a look at the RPR mobile app. Now, I've got a little bit less time than Jonathan here this morning. So I'm gonna power through uh, more in a slide presentation, but I'm going to give you some other resources to follow up with as well. But I really wanna point out some of the unique features that you'll see within the RPR mobile app as well. So with that, let's go ahead and get started here and uh, get through some of this information. So a couple of reminders, if you're not familiar with RPR, RPR is an NAR Realtor Member Benefit. Okay, so RPR is available to you. Um, Austin's been great to work with. They have lots of integration points within the MLS to take you to RPR, but you can also um, simply use the the platform itself, the desktop version, but today we're talking about the app. So keep in mind that RPR is offers you national public record data that's that your, your public records, appraisal district information as we know it here in Texas, but this is nationwide data that's available to you. And then also your local MLS data, but you also see a very comprehensive level of active listings throughout the United States. So what's unique about RPR and maybe one difference between Remind where you have that, that portal for consumers to access, RPR is for realtors only. So this app is not something that you share. You are the delivery mechanism to the data from the app in the wonderful reports and data that we provide. So whether you're working with buyers or sellers, investors on the residential side or the commercial, and I saw a message earlier in the chat with land, all that data is available to you. And you know, people love the consumer friendly, engaging reports. And you know, there's lots of different ways to enhance those reports with photos and notes and even voice memos. So we'll take a look at, at that a little 
little bit, and you can then deliver those in the way that your customers and clients want them. A lot don't like email anymore. They want you to text, right? But you can also share on social media platforms. So if you already have an RPR account, but you have not downloaded the app, um, it's your same account credentials and it auto syncs between the two automatically. It's fast, it's easy. And of course it's on both Apple and the Android applications. One unique aspect when you download the RPR app and it'll simply be RPR mobile, it will have our iconic you know, logo that's part of that. But right up front, you will be selecting residential or commercial. Now you can go back and forth between the residential and commercial side and each offers some unique aspects of data. Um, and with that, you'll see here um, just a screenshot of my phone and here's how the app will look on your phone. You've got a 3D touch mechanism available on the Apple side as well. So with RPR Mobile, you have a few different home screens that you can select from and you will see up at the top, your default is by the highlighted green house, um, but you have other options. So this gives you kind of a summary um, of the properties within a two mile radius. You can change those settings at any time. A popular homepage is where you can go to a direct search and enter whether it's an address or start broad with a zip code or city, an MLS ID or even a tax ID or search your own listings, et cetera. So those can be changed. Over here in the top left, you'll also see settings. And that's very important because from that standpoint, you can change some of the filters that you've got uh, very easily and on the fly. So I had changed in the settings earlier. So now we're at a one mile radius and looking at some of the data in a more distinct or narrow area. So this is the settings that I was talking about. You'll see here under that little gear shift that you've got welcome guides, but your profile settings, user settings, which I'm showing here. So you can modify how broad you want to go in that follow you type of search on the homepage, or you can override it with a specific area. Um, you can set your new listings, your sold listings um, for both residential and commercial. Um, so just remember your settings and your, your settings for your homepage, all different options for you. In this example, I've taken Austin um, and a particular zip code, 757, just tap search. And you'll see that it'll open up into a map view. You can also tap up here to list and get a list view. Now, you'll get very familiar if you're not already on the des desktop version that your icons to display properties and labeling is the same. In this particular example, I had lots of uh, you know, properties showing and the yellow is for leases. So I can come down here to filters and very quickly modify my filters with the tap of toggles to the statuses, the type of property that you're looking for, even distressed property, for example. So, and just simply apply filters and go from there if you're looking for open houses. But as you see here, lots of different filters available to you. So I did a few filters and now I'm down to a manageable group. And if you tap on any one of the uh, pins here, you'll see that it will open up to that great RPR view that you're very familiar with on the desktop version. And again, you can change this so that you can see four photos, you can look at the aerial, even the Google uh, you know, Drive version of views. So all of those are options. And as you scroll up, through, you'll see the same comprehensive level of data that we're integrating from your MLS. 
um, and that will vary on every property, of course, but those fields remain the same and the layout really is similar to what you see on the desktop version. So it's really easy to bounce back and forth. And just to point out a couple of unique features along the way, as you're in a property, you can call the agent. If you need to set up a quick an appointment um, to, to view that property, you can call right from here. Um, you ask about showing instructions, agent remarks, information, additional. We've recently added buyer comp display as well. So as you scroll down again, you'll see descriptions, your remarks. And then this is one area when you're looking at one particular property that I think we've done a great job of making some things very, very unique um, to get to other aspects. So if you want to enlarge the map and look at other, you know, locations close to the property, you can do that. You can get driving directions. So let's say that a client calls and says, hey, there's an open house on this particular address on St. Philip. Um, are you available to go take a look at it with me? But you're on the other side of town, you can tap directions and it'll drive you and take you straight to that property. Traffic counts, you know, this is something that's focused somewhat on the commercial side, but even traffic counts, you can do a pop up on the map and see that information. How about if you're showing a property and you have that property uh, at the open house, um, you know, pulled up on your on your phone or on your tablet and uh, someone coming through says, you know, this property isn't quite right, but I love this neighborhood. All you have to do is tap nearby listings or comps and even do a quick analysis right from this property that you're currently on. So you'll see that there's lots of information here all throughout just looking at one particular property. Again, on your home facts, public listing and even your changes Remember in RPR, you can make changes or add changes and notes, and it's attached to your account only. Nobody sees your other comments and changes. But anytime you go back to that property, those comments are there for you. So again, lots of information, even prior sales data, both listings and public record data, school data, of course. We integrated uh, about a year and a half ago, AARP, um, it, you know, livability index. Um, we have plat maps, mortgage data. And again, if this is a property you're really um, interested in for a particular client, just select that star down here to favorite it, use the, the default or give it a custom name. And then, you know, the RPR reports are just so fabulous. That's where we really, you know, I think shine in that they're very engaging for your customers. And on the mobile app, we make it easy for you to create the reports on the fly. Or let's say you're in the office, you've created uh, a property flyer in a mini property report and even a detailed uh, report before an open house. And you don't wanna print all those when you're at the open house. You may just have one for display. How do you engage with that customer then? You can simply open up your app and say, would you like this flyer or this detailed report? Let me send that to you. You get an email address and right from here, you can share and send a report to that client. Within the RPR mobile app as well, you have two unique features, a create a buyer's tour and also doing a quick comp analysis on the fly. So you get a call while you're out in the field or at your son's baseball game or, or soccer game, you could actually create a report and send it because you know, it, these customers and clients, they want immediate response from you. So you need to engage quickly and you can do that with RPR reports. You'll see here in a comp analysis, if you're familiar with the RPR CMA, it takes you through the same top five steps of looking at the property, the subject property. You can select your comps by simply tapping on those within the map and then you can sort or remove um, and make adjustments to those. And then 
do the report delivery. You can edit. You don't want a particular price. You want to just arrange. You can do that. Then you can download or email directly to your client. So anytime you're generating a report, you can exit and come right back to your property. If you favorited a property, you'll see this. And you've got a great um, bar down here at the bottom to give you several options. And to me, another unique feature that's integrated within the app is that anytime you're on a property, you can add a note and simply type in notes. You can add a photo. You can even add a voice memo. So pull up a property on the app and then go to the notes sections and try all these particular features. Really, really helpful. And then any of those notes can be included on your report if you so desire. So another set of great features. Um, you know, back here at the home page, you'll see several action buttons at the bottom. So as you might say, or think immediately, any of your saved properties, your favorited, are right here. Um, you can grab any of your recent reports. And also on the recent activity, you'll see five tabs across the top. So whether it's recent properties or searches you've done, you can grab that very quickly to redo that search any reports that you have, you can simply view or share immediately. And then on the notes tab, if you've added notes to a particular property, you can click on that and take a look at the notes that you've added already. So think about this. If you've got a property that you're walking through or several with a client on a day and they go from home to home, don't they get confused with what are the new features or the features that they like as they go from home to home. Add notes. Every time they go to a property, you can go in and add a picture, add a couple of notes, love the backyard, dislike the master bathroom, and then resend that report with those notes. Very, very helpful to your clients. So, you know, the reports that RPR provides, branding for your company, for you personally, um, this is a cover page, but as you see up top, you can easily share when you open a report, whether it be by mail, by messages, airdrop to them standing right next to you, for example, or share to Facebook if it's a market activity report or one of the many reports that we provide. So, you know, again, um, since I'm watching my clock here, um, we have, again, back at the settings, when you tap on that, all of your user settings, your profile, you can email our support center, you can phone them directly, and we encourage you to join our RPR Connect group as well. Um, and really take advantage of the RPR mobile app. It's very powerful. And, you know, uh, as a shout out too, please don't forget that we have a very powerful RPR commercial side. You'll know when you're on the commercial side simply by, you know, the red banner at the top. But again, all the features are very similar with the same type of functionality, but they correspond with not only national providers of commercial listings such as Brevitas and Crexi and local CIEs, but also your local commercial listings. And one unique feature working with maps that we've really enhanced is anytime you have a map up, whether it's parcel level or zero down on an aerial map, you'll see your map options, the three dots. When you tap on that, you'll see that you can draw, reload a map, travel time, traffic counts, different map views, uh, schools on that map. So very easy to get to the functionality that you need um, on different map layers. Uh, with map layers, all those that you see on the desktop, like flood maps, they're all available to you. So some unique features, again, um, but both residential and commercial side, which includes land, all types, lot and land that are listed in your MLS, but all those public record properties when you're out looking at rural properties or those also. So 
with that, I'm sure Will's looking at the clock, but, and there's probably some questions, but, you know, being mobile, and I'm going to date myself as since my first job in Austin back in 1980, y'all were still using MLS books and thermal heat sensitive paper. Some of you veterans may remember that. So take advantage today of these, these applications, um, whether it be RPR and Remind, look to engage with your clients at the most efficient and effective way possible. So with that, um, I'll do a plug too for our blog, which, and even on any of our sites, we have learning, lots of tutorials, eBooks and webinars, um, and ABOR does a great job of providing some additional education on RPR along with what we do on a national basis. So with that whirlwind tour, um, I'm sure there's some questions. Um, Will, maybe you can, if yeah. you've been monitoring those, if we have any. Have yeah, we'll just pop to a couple here. Um, bravo, Andrew, that was just that great information to see. And um, the RPR, I love to see that support information right in the app there. So definitely lean on that. And that Facebook part of it's a pretty unique one too. Um, real quick on just account setup. Um, you know, I'm used to using it just from the single sign on through the MLS dashboard. I would encourage anybody to open up that dashboard where you click matrix MLS, remind to open up that tool and RPR is there as well. And there's also a matrix integration on a per listing basis for reports and all that, but open it up from there. Um, and I, you probably remember better than I do, Andrea, it should, is that you still create a specific password at that time to get into only, RPR at that time? Yeah, only the first time. Okay. Perfect. So once you have um, created your RPR account, and remember with RPR, because it's for realtors only, if you haven't created an account, you'll need your NERDS ID or now what NAR calls M1. Okay, that validates that you are a realtor member. So you create your account, but that's really your email as well as your password. If you haven't used it for a while, just use the for God password and it will be taken care of and respond. So when you load the app, um, it will ask you to log in the first time, and then you can save that data um, as well on the app for a convenient login. Perfect, love it. And uh, clarification on the data access, a lot of public record data. Um, if you're a subscriber to a couple of MLSs, what does that data access look like through RPR and in areas where you're not an MLS? subscriber. Okay. So yeah, this is really important. One, in your profile setting on RPR, um, you want to make sure, and you can do this to me on your desktop, it's easier, honestly, to go to your profile setting that's in the upper right hand corner. And that is where if you belong to more than one MLS, you want to make sure that you add your MLS credentials and you can add for every MLS that you belong to. Um, so then what that does is that provides you the full complement of MLS data, active or all on market data, as well as off market data. So your sold, your withdrawns, expireds, et cetera, for every MLS. Now, you know, we start with that public record data that's over 3000 counties nationwide. So you're on vacation in Florida and you're in front of a house pop in that address and you'll find that data uh, if it's public record. If it's listed, for example, if you're here in Houston, Houston shares active listings with all NAR Realtor members. Most MLSs today do share their active listings with all Realtors nationwide. It's a great referral source, right? In exposure to your listings. But what is unique is most MLSs do not share on the RPR platform their sold data. That's for subscribers only. All right, so that's the distinction. Public record data, then active listings with the majority of MLSs across the country, and then really your off market, your sold and other types of data to the MLSs that you belong to. Now, keep in mind that Texas is really a non-disclosure state. 
So you, of course, have the same level of access to your sold data and use in the reports as you would in your MLS system on RPR. Many states, um, all that information, mortgage amount, sales transaction date, and sales price is public record information. So you go to a property in California or in Colorado, all of that information is there on public record data, okay? Perfect, thank you for clarifying that, Andrea. Um, well, we are right at 11. This was a well-executed uh, well power hour in terms of scheduling. Um, Jonathan and Andrea, all have been wonderful. Thank you for uh, moving. I know it was a lot of information and, and attendees. Um, we really appreciate y'all's patience and understanding. We try to get you as much uh, information here as we can in a shorter period of time and really lay that foundation, but give you all some, um, some resources to build on this. I will say, you know, as we, Caitlin, on our team, and we're really going to work over the, the next few months and really just the foreseeable future, building these MLS tools and resources, access to information, both of these platforms have amazing training that's already set up and that you can find them within their platforms as you're poking around, but we want to make it even easier to access that information and uh, you'll see a lot more marketing and communications just around, hey, here's the latest and greatest, here's tips and tricks. So these power hours are a really good opportunity for us to say, what do you love about these apps? What can we keep, keep bringing to y'all to, to get more information? So uh, thank you just everyone across the board for, for joining us. Um, we really do hope that you gain some of these new, tri new tips and strategies to plug into your business. Um, and per the usual, you know, these are, these are more or less quarterly power hours. So be on the lookout for the next announcement uh, coming up here. And of course, my shameless plug, look out for the survey that's going to come for this. That feedback is incredibly important for us and valuable. Um, and again, that get doing that survey sooner is going to get you access to that recording a little bit sooner, something where just, you know, want to reward those ones who take the time to let us know how we did. It can be everything from needs to be a little clearer sound, better visuals, um, you know, specifics about these apps and products. Let us know. We want to hear it all. So um, thank you all again. And I think we'll just uh, we'll let the DJ kind of play us out here. And Andrea and Jonathan, thank you again so much for, for your time. We, we really do truly appreciate it. Thank you for the invitation. It was great to be here. And thank you, everybody, for the time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you again, Austin.